Hello everyone. So after going through making shaders, enjoying the concepts like dissolve holographs, there's one that I've been trying to figure out that for some reason is not on anywhere that I could find and that is how to adjust the strength of normal maps. Definitely know how to do offsetting but not the actual strength. So I thought why not make this video help out anybody else that's actually going through the same thing. So we're going to begin with Unity. I'm using 2018.30F2 and the HDR package. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new shader. Going to go PBR Griff. I'm just going to call this test. You can name this however you want. Let it compile. Go into here, select on you, go to create, make a new material. I also call this test. And go ahead and drag you. In there. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and double click on this. For some reason, and this shader graph is like really slow, and I'm using like a really good computer. All right, so to begin, we're gonna need two components. So in here, gonna create a texture 2D, call this texture. Make another one, call this normal map, and then make a vector one, call this texture set and make another one normal map strength and we're going to give these values a one give this a one oh except for this one we're going to go ahead and delete it and we'll, we're going to do that as a vector two my bad and give this parameter a one and one. Now in here, I can actually do a couple things. Uh, if I want, I can actually rearrange these, but I think for now, this should actually be fine. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and set the textures and I'm using the standard assets package from the Unity Asset Store. It's free to download. And I'll show you that after I get through with this. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to choose this glass, and then in here, we're going to choose the normal map. All right. Now, in here, I'm going to plug these into here. And by, val by default, you have to do texture, sample, sample texture 2D, and then that will plug into the albedo which we're going to do right now. Wait for it to compile. Do the same thing for you. And we need to change this to normal. Now, fine and dandy, this is looking good. Now to adjust the strength, you plug this into here, type up normal map, and you're looking for normal map strength. In here, you can adjust the values. So if I go two, three, four, and you get the idea, it makes it stronger each time. Now, if I want to, I can pull this out now, move this over. normal map strength, I can plug this into here and that will give me the property to adjust in the inspector. And then I could plug this into the normal map section. Any second now. All right, so essentially it will give me the uh, abilities to adjust the amount of strength that I want. Now from here, I can then, let's say I want to do an offset. I can now do, to create tile, do tile and offset. And this is where the texture offset is going to come into play. Plug you into you. Excellent. Going to go ahead, 
do a multiply. And then from here, I could plug this into the UV2 for the, t uh, the sample texture. And I could plug you into the UV2. for the normal map. Excellent. Oh, set those to set that to one and one. That way it doesn't multiply afterwards. With that all set, let you review it again. We're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, it is saved. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take this test, plug it into the cube, and I have to apply the textures again. So. For this test, I'm just going to choose, yeah, why not? And then we'll go ahead and drag you into here. And go back to my shader. All right, excellent. So in here, for the cube, let's go ahead and pull you closer. And pull the camera down just a little bit. So if I go in here and now I start bumping up the strength, you'll notice that it's actually multiplying, it's adding to it. You pretty much you can adjust it, put it to zero if you don't want it, put it to 0.5, put it to one. You can tile these, so two by two, three by three. And these work perfectly with different, so like let's say I grab this ground Go to ground normal. I do two, three, let's go 10. You notice how it's now starting to get stronger. 20, 50, you pretty much get the idea. So that's pretty much it on how you can actually do this in shader graph with the new 2018. It was bothering me, so I thought, why not make a video? And these will work on different, so like earlier I was testing this out on a capsule, so you could play around with it. But essentially, let's go ahead and let's select the shader again. And this is how I set it up. Texture offset goes into the tiling offset tile. This goes into a multiply with a one by one. You can actually put a parameter into here if you want to adjust this here too. So you could possibly pull the same texture offset and plug it into here. Uh, normal map to a sample, make sure it's normal. This to a normal strength, parameter, normal map strength. Texture 2D, texture goes to albedo, normal map strength goes into normal. And that's how you're able to set it up. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, take care, have a great rest of your day, and hope this helps you like it helped me. All right, uh, I forgot to show you. So to get the standard assets package, if you're not sure how to do that, because normally you would go assets, import package. So the new way is you go to the asset store. Wait for it to connect. All right, so in here, you just type up stand the standard. Yeah, standard assets. And here, like I said, it's free to download, and this pretty much is how you download it again. 
what you would do is you would do import. You would basically import all the models, textures, um, trees, whatever they had clued into the package, and then it would pop up into your folders afterwards. So that is how to download the standard assets package in the new 2018 version of Unity.